Welcome back to another Film Alchemist tutorial. So, you should be here on the Film Alchemist website, so go down to Dueling Helmets Graphic and click on the Google Drive link. That's going to take you here, and you're going to download this one single file. It's a zipped file. When you click the download button, it's going to ask it if you want to download this because it can't scan for viruses. Go ahead and download anyway. The file itself is over 800 megabytes, so it's going to take a while. So click download and just wait a while. Once you have downloaded it, so pause this video, wait a minute. Once it's downloaded, go to your downloads folder. If you can't find it there, command space and type helmet. And you should be able to find the file because it's called helmet video all those numbers zip so if you're the other way is in chrome if you look down here at the bottom bar you should you can just simply click on the on this link and that will open it for you all right so let's get started so this is what the folder looks like once you have downloaded it once you've downloaded it open up the zip file you've got all these files in there the one we're going to be working with today is this helmet folder so open the helmet folder find this gen helmet obj and double click and it's going to open up in photoshop and it's going to ask it's going to have something that looks somewhat like this yours might not look exactly like that but that's okay but document type you want to go to film and video and then under size you want to set that to hdv hdtv Make sure this is 1280 by 720 and click OK. It's going to take some time because that OBJ file is a big file. But once it opens, it's going to ask you some questions if you want to open up your file in 3D. There we go. All right. so. Mine didn't ask it because I told it never to ask me again, but if it says 3D, click OK, click Yes. You might open you right here. You want to go to over on the right hand side where it says Layers. You want to click 3D. Down here, this is everything that we're going to be messing with. So this main helmet, that's, the, that's what we want. If we come up here to Diffuse and click on that, then here's where we can pick our color. So if we wanted to make the Santa Fe helmet, we're going to find a good dark green and click OK. And it's going to change the color of just the helmet. Shine is exactly what it sounds like. It's going to make the helmet shiny. Reflection is going to reflect the light. But as I turn up the reflection, if you see over here, you get these lights. So it also lightens the color of the helmet. So once I have the reflection, if I come back up here, I can change this. I can make it darker. And the darker I make it, now it's starting to look a little bit better, a little bit more like Santa Fe. But I don't have Santa Fe's emblem right now. In the folder, we have North and we have Memorial. So let's make either one. You can pick either one. But I'm going to make Memorial Summit. And theirs is kind of a maroon color. So we're going to come up here to somewhere between pink and red. And we're going to change it to that. And that looks a little better. So that's pretty, I mean, that, that's a little more pink maybe than Memorial wants it, but that looks pretty good to me. These down here, roughness, bump, opacity, you're not going to mess with those. The specular, if you bring this up to gray a little bit more, you can make things a little bit more metal-like. So if you want it to shine a little bit more than it does. That made it a little too dull, so I'm going to turn that one back down. But these colors all work together to make this single tone in this 3D helmet. All right, so we want to mess with that. 
then this white plastic that is the chin strap down here notice whenever I click on it it changes the color it kind of fades out everything else and only the chin strap is in focus so I go to white plastic memorials are a dark gray so I'm gonna change it to that click OK and now my chin strap is the color I want chrome we won't mess with default material we won't mess with helmet color is just this stripe around it it's actually on the inside and I'll turn this helmet so you guys can see on the inside of this the helmet color is actually the color of the foam inside of the helmet It's kinda hard to see because there's no light there but that will actually change the color of the foam inside all right so plastic glossy is on the f on the sides it's it's not really something we want to mess with but the face mask we can change that as well because the face mask is the same color as the chin strap it's dark gray again so we're going to change it to that we're going to click OK and that looks a little too dark what did I do I'm going to come back here I'm going to figure out so these numbers right here 59 59 59 these R B J numbers so those are all 59 so I leave that, I come down to face mask. Now if I change these all to 59, I get exactly the same color for the face mask and the chin strap. All right, so that's the bulk of what we're gonna do in this. That's really the majority of what we need to do. The last few steps are pretty simple. If it is a home, if the if this is the home team, the helmet will face this direction. If it's the away team, which most of these will be, because we've already made the Santa Fe helmet and the North helmet, eventually we'll need to make the home team memorial helmet. But right now we need to focus on the away teams that play Santa Fe and North at home. So most of the time we're going to make an away helmet. To do that, we're going to click up here under 3d mode if you don't see this it's because you don't have the selection tool selected come over here to the side and this top tool make sure that that is selected then you should see these 3d modes up here click this one up here that has the little orbiting arrows click up above the helmet and you're gonna spin it around but what happened there now my light is all messed up so actually we're gonna go back and to go back I just hit command Z so I'm gonna click on my helmet and I get this little box around it if I click on this little side panel I can turn the helmet in place which might be a little bit more difficult right this second but it's going to save you a lot of headaches down the road. If it freezes for a second, just let it go because it's just Photoshop trying to think. So again, to do that, click this tool, click on the helmet, and whatever I'm focused on, it's going to light that up. You want to get these bars on each side and then just click and drag and that'll rotate the helmet. All right, now we're going to tilt it because we want the helmets to be to be level. So that is this tool right here. That will rotate it around the Z axis. So we're going to click over here on the side of the screen and we're going to tilt the helmet. What we want is we want this face mask to be straight. To, the easy way to do that is if I click up here, see this ruler up here if you don't have the ruler go to view and make sure rulers is checked if it's not go ahead and click it if I click on the ruler and drag I'm gonna get a guide so I'm gonna put that guide right down here and I wanna make that helmet I wanna make the face masks as level with that line as possible so 
Notice how I can see straight through the ear hole, and I'm right along that line. So I'm going to come back up to view, and I'm going to clear guides. That's going to get rid of that line. Oh, nope. Well, that didn't do what I wanted. Well, anyway, that should have gotten rid of that line. It didn't. Don't worry about it. That line's not going to hurt us. Okay, so we've got the helmet, the color we want it, the position we want it. Now we're going to come back down to our folder that had the helmet in it in the first place. And I need, for this one, the Memorial logo, which... In this case, I this is not quite correct, but we're not going to worry about it right now. Uh, don't worry about that. That's not going to happen on yours. Okay, so I've got my logo. If I click on the name up here and drag, I can separate that into its own layer, its own window. So I'm going to use the selection tool again. I'm going to click on the, on the logo. I'm going to drag it over on top of the helmet. So right now it's way too big, but that's okay. Come over here to layers. Make sure that your logo layer is selected. Go to edit and free transform. You'll get this box that, that appears around it. If I click on the side and hold shift, whenever I drag down, it's going to make sure it keeps the same aspect ratio. It's going to make sure it doesn't change shapes. When you're done sizing it, if you click back on, on the selection tool or you click this check mark or you can hit enter, it's going to ask, do you want to apply this transformation? And click yes, apply. If, it, if you did something wrong, you can click cancel there and it'll go right back to normal. So it's still not quite small enough, so I'm going to do it again free transform, click, hold shift, size that down, click the check mark, and there we go. So I've got my Bulldogs logo on the helmet. The only thing I don't quite like about that is it's not quite level on the helmet. I think it needs to be tilted a little bit. So to do that, I go back up to edit, free transform, and see how my cursor changes what it looks like based on which of these points I'm on. I want to hover just outside of the top corner, click, and I'm going to drag up and it's just going to rotate the logo. Once you have it where you want it, you click the check mark again, and now my helmet's okay. Sorry about the dogs. Okay, last thing. File, save as, and we are going to go to the desktop and we're gonna name it the name of the school. So in this case, Edmund Memorial. And in this case, because I moved this one to the away side, if it's facing left, that's an away helmet. If it's facing right, that's a, that's a home helmet. So Edmund Memorial, away helmet, Make sure it's saved as a Photoshop format and click Save. Maximize, yes. Click OK. And that's it for this one, guys. Good job.